wrestling is an individual sport and you need to treat it as such. If you're looking to become a better wrestler, you need to fix your mistakes. Think of it like this. You have a list of issues you need to work on. I can't get out of bottom. I can't get out of legs. I can't finish my single leg. I can't finish from the shin wizard. I can't finish from the, out the back door on a better wrestler. I keep getting my ankles grabbed. I can't win, I can't defend a cradle. There's a list, and how do we make that list? Well, we make that list from live practice goes and live matches. So you just wrestled in a tournament, you couldn't finish a double leg, write that down. You got double legged, write that down. Or the practice before, someone just hit you with a headlock, write that down. Write down the list, make that list of things you need to work on, right? And then go and solve those problems. Spend a week on leg reversals. Figure out how to finish that single leg when the person shin wizards. Now each person has, that, look, that list looks different for each person. So, you know, I as a coach am going to make the practice general. We're going to work on stuff that I think is going to help benefit the whole group or, you know, if I'm seeing everyone have an issue on, on one certain area, I'm going to point that out. But we do a lot of open drilling and you need to make sure you're taking your wrestling into your own hands. If I come up to you or if your coach comes up to you and goes, hey, what are you, what are you struggling with? You got to know the answer. You got to know it. You got to be thinking that way. You can't, you can't be coming into practice mindless, mindlessly. You want to get more out of your practice. You want to actually, you know, get better than the person across the room or the, your opponent that's in a different high school or middle school. You need to get more out of your practice. Nobody does that. Very small amount of people, people come into practice with things they need to work on every single day, day in, day out, and they keep knocking those things off the list. You need to be that person. If you want to catch up to somebody, if you want to get better, you need to be that person. If you couldn't finish that shot, that better be ingrained in your head. Hey, I couldn't finish that single leg. That, that better be ingrained in your head so the next time you come in, you know what to work on. You know what questions to ask your coach. So biggest thing is mat time. Get on the mat as much as possible, but how can you utilize your, matches, your mat time more? It's by coming in with a game plan. Wrestling is individual. Each person has their own issues. Yeah, I'm gonna, we're gonna show stuff that helps everybody out, and we're gonna talk about things that are gonna make a difference in everybody's wrestling, but you need to start knocking out those things. And the more often you do that, the better you'll get. If you have to wait till a competition you do every two months to make corrections, you're gonna not be getting good fast enough. You need to be doing it every single day. Like, imagine this. You come in Monday, you wrestle. Somebody took you down with a double leg. Next day you come in, you work double leg defense for 20 minutes straight. Maybe the whole week, maybe a few, few times in a row. Boom, you knock that off the list. Okay, I got my doubles pretty good. Kid can't date me down with a double leg anymore. All right, now you had trouble finishing the single leg. Next day you come in, boom, you knock out the single leg. You drill that for 20 minutes. You really understand how to finish that. Okay, that's done. You just keep knocking through things. Yes, you're not gonna perfect something in a day, but that type of stuff or that type of way of training will help you start knocking those things off. I remember I, was, I would get ridden out by legs in college. I would spend like two weeks on leg reversals. I'm not getting ridden out by legs again. I'm knocking out. You know what I mean? Like I was so attuned to whenever I made a mistake, whenever I needed to make an improvement and really dialed in on that area. And I actually think a big reason why I plateaued my junior year to my senior year in college, I didn't really get much better, is because I stopped doing that. Because my mindset wasn't shifting. I wasn't really really thinking of how I could, how I could improve each day, day in and day out. I mean, I remember I was a senior in high school and I was at Virginia Beach Nationals. I made it to the blood rounds, right? So I lost in the quarterfinals, I'm in the blood rounds, I win this match I place. And the thing about the backside of the tournament is the periods were super short. I'm talking like minute and a half, minute, minute. It was something so short, it was like, the match was over like that. It was very, very weird match. But I remember getting ridden out by legs, like not being able to get out of bottom, getting ridden out by legs the whole last period and 
losing, mainly because of that. And I'm obviously emotional, right? Like I, I work so hard to do this, so I'm, I, I kind of run away. I find a mat right then, because the match was over, so I had so much energy because the match was so short. I was like, man, I couldn't even go as hard as I wanted to go. So I find a mat that nobody's on. I go down and just start like spamming stand-ups and switches and like, because any time I had like something happen to me, uh, I couldn't finish something, I couldn't get out on bottom. I was like, I gotta attack that problem. I gotta get better there. And if you guys start doing that, you're gonna see big improvement. So really, you know, if you have a journal, write, write down what, what things you're struggling with so you can come in and get better at them. There's, in reality, as far as practice time, people, the best guys in the country, in the world, they're practicing twice a day. And then it becomes, how can I get more out of that practice than everybody else? And if you're getting your technique better, if you're putting more effort in during that practice, you're utilizing that practice better, you're gonna be able to beat the other guy who's also going, doing two practices a day. Because at, at some point, you know, there's not enough time in the, in the day to, and, and there's a point where probably you need to take a break, right? That's why people kind of are around that two practices a day situation. But all right, that, that's all I got, you guys. Um, and if you have trouble with, with certain techniques, you want to get better with certain things, I do have a free online wrestling academy. Link's in the description. Click on that, join it. Ask your questions there, post your matches, get some feedback. I have you know, 44 of my instructionals all organized in there so you guys can go and back into the positions you're struggling with and learn the technique and get better at it. I'll see you guys in the next video.